Hey, it's Clay. Today's video, I was at the Pickin Park, uh, Florida flea market. It's about an hour from me. And I went there after I left that estate sale that I, the last estate sale video. But this used to be a really good flea market back eight, ten years ago. That's where I started buying and reselling, was buying stuff down there. There was an old man there that would, he was from Pennsylvania, but he moved down here. And he would go to Pennsylvania once a month and bring back a big, big load of uh, primitives and antique tools, all kind of antiques and primitive tools. And I would see all that stuff when I'd go down there and I'd say, there's got to be a way to resell this stuff and make money. And I found eBay. And that was about 14 years ago, I guess. And I started putting stuff, his stuff on eBay from Pecan Park Flea Market. But this video here, that's just mostly just looking around. I didn't buy a whole lot in this video. I'll go ahead and tell you. Just bought a few items. If you stay to the end, I show how much the each item's worth, how much sold comps are. But anyhow, I do thank everybody for watching. Let's go see what all I saw at this flea market. Is this yours over here? I ended up buying a shithole cluster. Uh -oh. Yes, sir. Bob. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What's this one here? I don't know, I couldn't find a railroad on it, but it's an old one. <clears throat> yeah, it's rusted, the name's rusted off. How much is it? 65. 65? What would you do if I bought both of them? I'd jump for joy. <laughs> <laughs> How much would you do on them? 120. 120. This is a really quick kid. Yeah. It don't have the name on it. Well, I wish it did, but... Yeah. Neither one of them has the name on the globe. Some of them did. Lots of seaboard airline. Really. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. What we do just on this one? 
65. Nope, you can't come down any. You do 60. All right, 60. And I'll do, and I'll buy this. Right. And I'm gonna look around. Okay. See what else you got. Keep Which looking. tables are yours? That one. <clears throat> that one. This one and this one. Yep. And this over here. Yep. All right. Let me see what all you got here. Pretty cool stuff. You got some neat stuff, that's for sure. Yeah, I got a pair of them. They're pretty. It rained down here last night. I don't know, I wasn't here, but I'm sure it's good. It's like water all over the place. How much is the doorknob? That one I want 20 on. 20? That's got a pink or whatever, whatever yeah. you want to call it. Yeah. I'm going to buy that too, just because I like that color. That's nice. <clears throat> See what else you got that I need. I bet you don't need any of that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, but I like it. I, I got a bad habit. Well, you, I buy and sell, but I don't sell enough of it. Yeah, you're right about that. Right there's the old foot ads. It's in good condition. It's got the handle. It's like it's a new handle. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I've sold a bunch of them over the years. How much are you getting on them? The five or the whole mess. Is the five a set? I would think so, yeah. 50 bucks on a five. It's 15 and five is 20, and 60 would be 80, right? 80, ah, uh, 80 bucks. You got a 20? I do. You need one of them you want me to keep it or give it to you? I'd like to have it back. I might find something else in here I need folks next door they had the radio blaring so i had to cut it out there's some old cast iron smelter pots there's a couple of old washboards right here a glass one that top one there's glass i got seven or eight of them i need to sell i've sold a bunch of them over the years the glass ones and the brass ones seem to do the best for me I have some that's all wood. Some old hubcaps. Sixties and seventies. How much are the tags? She'll be right there, sir. 
Đó. Twenty-five and the fifty-seven. Some tags in nineteen fifty-seven. I'm not sure what it was from Florida. She wanted twenty-five and fifteen. That's a old reproduction Coca-Cola straight side right there. I've got some of them. This right here is a moon axe. They used it in the turpentine industry. They hard to find and they pretty valuable. What'd you get on the axe? 50. 50? I was checking out these milk bottles right here. They had the music of blaring. But all them milk bottles from up north and I weren't familiar with none of them so I didn't buy any of them. I did buy the axe. They had stuff piled all over these tables. You could have dug and dug and dug through them tables. I didn't do a lot of digging. I just looked and seen what was on top. I'm going to buy your axe. This is a pretty cool axe. Massive. I paid her $50 for that moon axe. I didn't even try to get her to come down. She probably wouldn't have. She seemed kind of firm on her prices. What's the price on the other ones? Explain Oops, I'm sorry. I'll be right back. We've got cantaloupe. I'll do 40 on either one of them if you want, uh, you want this one. Oh, uh, thank you. Here's a box full of belt buckles. I've done good on some belt buckles over the years. I didn't see any in here I wanted to buy. Some of them probably would have been valuable though. That was only outside people that were set up, just a few tables. The rest of this is inside the flea market in the building. There was some neat stuff in some of these shops. I bought a few items, I didn't buy much. It's always fun to look though. I enjoy looking at vintage and antiques. This vendor here has always had a lot of very nice glass. I used to come to this flea market almost every weekend, or at least twice a month. This guy, he's been here as long as I can remember. He's always had a lot of nice glass. And I've bought a few pieces over the years. Always fun to look at it. And this lady here, she's been here as long as I can remember. She's always got a lot of neat stuff, vintage and antiques and bottles. She's got a, all kind of stuff here. How you doing? I'm sorry, but this is the only Okay. Thank you. I looked at a few of her bottles there, but I didn't see any that I really needed. She's got a bunch of bottles. But I've got all the ones she's all right, got thank you. I need to be selling. That's a tub of cast iron, ain't it? How about that piece? 
Never seen nothing like it. Thirty-five dollars. Bean pot. Man, at the cast iron. Cool pieces too. see the price I don't think in this camera they were like 75 to 100 over a hundred dollars a piece here had a lot of nice neat old stuff and its prices were fair uh, some of it was too high to resell but some of it you could have bought and resold but people that's not reselling them you can get some pretty good deals in this shop right here you got a lot of neat stuff in there it was loud here in this flea market inside here Those were cedar, some type of little cedar boxes. Uh, the old cast iron or metal mailbox. I've sold several of them over the years. $48 for them two blue lamps. I didn't, you can't get a good look at them in this camera, but they were pretty. They were old. Probably could have got a hundred dollars for that set or more. Mm -hmm. 
built, buckle display. Pretty cool. And right here some old doorknobs. I've sold a lot of old doorknobs over the years. They sell pretty good, some of them. Pennsylvania Railroad clock, that's pretty cool. Pennsylvania Railroad clock. $35 on the bed one, that's pretty cool. This little shop right here was probably the neatest shop, had the most antiques and odd items in it, but his prices were high. I don't see nothing in there really you can make money on, in my opinion. But there's a lot of neat stuff in here, it's fun to look at. He had it hanging from the ceiling and everywhere. It's a fun store to come in and look around. Cool stuff. He's got lots of bottles, all types of antiques and primitives. Some old seltzer bottles right there. They're from up north. Northern seltzer bottles most of the time don't bring as much as the southern ones. There are exceptions. Uh, it would really take a couple of hours to look at everything in this store. You have to look through it a few times. Hard for your brain to take all this in. There's so much of it. Good. You got a bunch of cool stuff in here. I appreciate that. My kind of stuff. Lock or whatever it is. Yeah. Cameras on your house and all. They, they, they were advertising like crazy. And they kept bugging me and I cussed them out like the blue whistles and I did everything to them. So they started harassing me and called me 10 times a day. I called the police and they came in the house and I showed them. I've sold several of these enamel pictures right here over the years. They used to bring about 40 or $50. I haven't looked them up in a while. It's been several years since I sold one. I love enamelware.
health care place there is out there. They, they want to tell me about benefits and what I qualify for. What is this? Uh, yeah, I think it's a candle stand, a small candle. Uh -huh. that, that's what it is. This is the little bit of stuff I bought at the flea market. I didn't buy much. Uh, I could have bought some more stuff, but this is what I bought. These old glass doorknobs, when they got that purple tint to them, these are not very dark. But if it was a little bit darker, it would bring good good money. And he told me he wanted 20 for these, but he, he only charged me 15. So I'll probably get 40 to $50 for them. And, then, and I bought that. Florida A&M Vintage Tag Bracket. I've sold a lot of these tag brackets over the years. It'll probably bring 20 or $25 on these metal. These are, it's not plastic, it's heavy metal bracket. And I've sold a lot of these over the years too, these old door, glass doorknobs, especially if they turn in purple. And I bought this lantern right here. And this lantern right here, he had 60 on, or 65 on it. He come down to 60. I wouldn't have bought it if it didn't have that rare colored globe. That's a rare colored globe right there, that amber orange color. You can see right there, S-A-L-R-R, -R, Seaboard Airline Railroad. That's a Southern Railroad down there in Florida, maybe in Georgia. I'm not sure where it all went, but that's a Southern Railroad. And then this moon axe, that was the find of the day. These things are hard to find. This is a turpentine tool. This, <clears throat> this was made in uh, by a cancel tool company. And I've sold a bunch of these, well, not a bunch. I probably sold 10 or 15 of these over the years. They hard to find. Somebody's weddled a piece on the end of this one. But uh, that's where they would hit it against a tree. But it was used in the turpentine industry and they asked $50 for it. I didn't try to get them to come down any. That's pretty cool. This is what I bought. Didn't buy a whole lot, but it was fine looking. That's all I have for now. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below.